Ian Cranston's request to be released on bail pending his murder trial in November was denied. Noah Chast was watching the hearing today and joins us now. Noah? Lee Cranston is accused in last fall's fatal shooting of Barry Washington Jr. outside a bar in downtown Bend. The question of whether Cranston had a conscious objective of killing Washington was the main talking point among both the state and defense. After many hours of presentation, discussion, and a statement from Washington's mother, the state prevailed and Cranston will remain in jail. This was a fist fight. Mr. Cranston, you brought a gun to a fist fight. A request to release Ian Cranston on bail, the man accused of shooting and killing Barry Washington Jr. in downtown Bend this fall, was denied. The state, represented by Deputy District Attorney J. Michael Swart, focused on the time when Cranston was first struck by Washington outside a bar and when Cranston decided to pull out his gun and shoot him. Detective Camille Christensen says, per the Wild Rose security footage, the timeline of the shooting is as follows. At 12.04.35, Barry Washington exits the Capitol and joins his friends on the sidewalk. About two minutes later, Ian Cranston leaves the bar with two friends. At 12.07.28, Washington walks over to Cranston and his friends, and they have a, quote, discussion. After more than a minute, Washington punches Cranston in the face twice. At 12.08.56, Cranston pulls out a gun and keeps it at his side. 26 seconds later, Washington punches Cranston's friend. Cranston raises the handgun and shoots Washington. There's many other avenues that he could have taken, which he didn't. He chose to take those fatal steps forward and shoot and kill Mr. Washington. The defense, led by Kevin Sally, showed several video compilations with three different angles of the altercation to explain how Washington was the aggressor and Cranston was acting in self-defense, but arguing Cranston did not have the intent to kill. Does the firing of a shot by itself and without anything more prove that the person who fired that shot had a conscious objective to cause death? Washington's mother, LaWanda Robinson, says Cranston should not be able to freely walk the streets while her son, who moved to Bend for a new life, is gone. He did not choose it to be a place to die. That choice was made by Ian Cranston. Ultimately, Judge Beth Bagley sided with the state, choosing to leave Cranston in jail. The defendant, Mr. Cranston, shot Mr. Washington at close range with a firearm, which is a lethal and deadly weapon. And when he did so, he had the conscious objective to cause Mr. Washington's death. And for that reason, the request for release is denied. A full eight-day trial is set to begin November 1st. Cranston will remain in jail until then. Lee?